Hi, everyone, and thank you for inviting me to this important new event, the Tigulio Design District uh, in Italy, a very a new strategic idea in connecting design, culture, and environment, and uh, companies and expertise diffused in a so rich territory as Liguria and Tigulio is. Good morning, my name is Gabriele Goretti. I'm an associate professor at Jenan University in Uxi near Shanghai. But of course, I'm an Italian professor first. And after several years of studies and research in Italy on made in Italy and especially in the high end market, I moved to China to cross my previous experience to the Chinese new research environment. Uh, this combination made me very excited and uh, I started a completely new process in my work. Um, my university is related to product design and uh, product uh, engineering and also strategic design. Within my research, I'm co-leading a design lab named Brand, Brand Experience Design. And in this lab, we set strategies and new positioning strategies through design-driven innovation for Chinese companies. And also we establish interesting bridges in between Chinese companies and Italian institutions and companies. This experience in between China and Italy is very interesting, but also quite challenging sometimes. Uh, after moving to China, I had the chance to work for a long time, more than 10 years, with small medium enterprises working in luxury supply chain in Italy, in furniture design and in fashion design area. And uh, I had the chance to establish with them interesting joint labs to also involve my students and also to make my research together with them. When I moved to China, I tried to follow the same structure, the same collaboration process. But of course, in China, I had to reset some methodologies and some items of my methods. For example, uh, even if China as Italy has a strong manufacturing know-how, the dimension of the companies are very different, and sometimes the mentality inside the company is very different. So it's very important for me here in China to have an empathetic approach to the companies, to be able to collaborate with them and not imposing my perspective, but understanding them and making my previous expertise and uh, uh, developed in Italy as a heritage also for them. About my background, about my previous background and my education background, I have to say that I had two important, important areas of uh, uh, training and education when I was at university and in the first, at the first stage and during the first phase of my professional. Uh, the first area is, of course, strategic design. So uh, working in between University of Florence and then in Domus Academy Milan, I had the chance to develop a strategic approach to design project. The second important area of uh, investments and education efforts in my um, uh, training, in my education path is of course the relations to the companies. I think that living in Italy and working in Italy in design area, uh, gives you a chance to be in touch to important manufacturers and companies that are able to show off and to involve you into the quality and uh, uh, culture of quality and culture of uh, luxury items. This kind of experience we can uh, leave, we can be involved in, in the area, in these different districts of Italy, it's a, something very important, is a one-of-a-kind heritage that we as Italian designers or in general designers, we can experience in Italy and we can transfer to other areas of the world. So made in Italy is becoming an incubator, a, a cradle of values that could be transferred also to other areas of the world as a big laboratory, as a big hub of innovation and quality. 
talking about fashion, fashion has fashion design and fashion has fashion manufacturing, we can open up a specific focus. Fashion today has to face a new important challenge, the challenge of becoming a sustainable uh, business unit, a sustainable business environment, and also a sustainable manufacturing model. Many times we hear about uh, we want to make a brand more green or green oriented, or we want to develop a environmentally respectful uh, manufacturing model. But is it true? Is it a real green manufacturing or it just a green washing strategy to show off that we would like to respect the environment, but we can't because manufacturing has to respect production a framework and production processes that are strongly polluted, are polluting our planet. So this, uh, this challenge of true values of sustainability, so expressing true values of sustainability has many agencies around the world promote uh, in, in this moment, uh, it's, it's a new challenge. So fashion has to become a real sustainable model and not just a communication of sustainable values, but fashion has to embed in deep the fashionable, uh, environmentally free, environmentally respectful values, and to be able to develop new items that are really um, green oriented and really sustainable. So this kind of challenge is a consistency challenge. So fashion has to become consistently green and not just communicated as a greenwashed model. So this is the future of fashion, in my opinion, sustainability, but not only communication on sustainability, but real sustainability in fashion and fashion manufacturing. Considering these uh, observations and also this kind of uh, thoughts I presented within my speech. Uh, so we can state what's design today and what's the future road of design? How can we figure out design in 10, 20 years? Uh, design today is, in my opinion, uh, looking for experiences and not just on experiences related to one shape or specific technological implementation. But design has to provide an holistic experience on specific topics. So the user, and especially the user choosing a premium product, so a premium product that is able to provide and to release a specific emotion, has to choose something that is offering an experience and not just uh, something to show off or something to represent a status symbol. So I strongly believe that in particular, high-end design has to be advanced luxury design and not just traditional luxury design. What's the difference between traditional and, and uh, advanced luxury? Advanced luxury is the one involving the emotions and the experience of the user and not just something to show off because it's nice to have it but just something is, is properly something that is able to transfer emotions and to engage the user in specific, real, consistent emotions. Then summarizing and considering my role of, as professor at university and my relation to the students. So my suggestions to the students is to be curious and informed about what we have in the territory and about the companies and the values and the expertise diffused in the territories we have. And sometimes we don't know, as in my case, when I was young, I didn't know about many companies I had in my area. So, and then I realized when I grew up and when I had the chance to visit companies that many companies I didn't know about, but in my area, in my close to my house, were so important for uh, important, important production, international productions in uh, different sectors of design. So around us, we have design in the territory around us or in territories you don't know, maybe you visit 
uh, as for tourism, you can find also interesting companies. So sometimes we have to be informed and curious about where and how design is done and not just how is drawn, how is designed uh, in the studios, in an agency, but also where it's produced because production is part of creative process. And we have to know the quality of productions to develop the proper consistent values of design. So I hope that this great event of the Gullio Design District will offer also the chance to the students and to the researchers from around the world to know important design, uh, iconic products uh, we developed in that area and also the relation in between the design and manufacturers and districts. Uh, I hope to be there. <laughs> I, hope I would like to be part of this uh, great event in Tigurio Design Districts and I hope I will, it will be able to travel to visit you. Anyway, uh, thank you for this chance to be part of uh, the board and the team of uh, professionals um, related to the, the Gullio Design Districts. Uh, I uh, give you my good luck and I send you my best wishes and uh, I hope to see you in Tigullio, in Tigullio Design District and good luck. And please be curious and be informed about design and design manufacturers. It could be not the past, but also the future of our creativity. Thank you very much. <laughs>